Despite my 30 plus years on Earth, I've played a lot of video games. I've seen a lot of video game promotion, but to be honest with you, I've never seen a game piss off an entire country before. It's really insane that that's where we are on the timeline with Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. And whose fault is it that Japan is upset over their culture being vandalized by Ubisoft? Well, Asians are considered white adjacent to the weirdo left, so it's Japan's fault for being offended. At least that's what fake game journalists are claiming. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. This is Marks on Games, and today we're talking about the next chapter in the story of Assassin's Creed Shadows being a massive embarrassment. Now, let's get into it. At this point, Ubisoft has to know. They have a giant turd on their hands with Assassin's Creed Shadows. I've been reviewing your work. Quite frankly, it stinks. There's no getting around it. Sure, they have their shills online that will buy the game in an attempt to own the chuds and stick it to literally an entire country. Not a great plan. They also have their normies that will mindlessly buy this game because that's just what they always do. But for the most part, this game isn't going to have any sort of success. Instead, it's going to be a massive embarrassment to the company. Let's go to that park place. Ubisoft releases statement to Japanese players amidst massive backlash to Assassin's Creed Shadows. We're sorry. Ubisoft has responded to significant backlash from Japanese players regarding its upcoming game, Assassin's Creed Shadows, which many feel disrespects Japanese culture and history. F this guy. As I discussed in a previous video, they've used Zoro's katana from One Piece for Yasuke, they've taken Chinese lanterns and architecture and put them in Japan, they've ignored cultural norms from feudal Japan, and they've completely lied about the backstory of their own main character so that they could inject a black male protagonist into this game. In bird culture, this is considered a dick move. A petition initiated by Shimizu Toru on Change.org has garnered over 95,000 signatures, stating concerns about historical inaccuracies and misinterpretation of samurai culture. The petition criticizes Ubisoft for neglecting the nuances of samurai identity and calls for the game's development to be halted in favor of better research and cultural sensitivity. You mess with my nut, Brennan? Randy here is gonna eat your d That won't happen because Ubisoft fired anyone from the project that had any real knowledge and half a brain. Instead, they brought in a Japanese gender studies professor to make Yasuke and Naoi lame and gay. Why? 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 Why would they do this? Japanese YouTuber Shohei Kondo also highlighted the issue, emphasizing that while Ubisoft markets the game as historically informed, many players are concerned about potential distortions and a lack of respect for Asian cultures. You're a monster! You're like Hitler, but but even Hitler cared about Germany or, or something. In response, Ubisoft acknowledged the criticisms and expressed respect for Japanese history, clarifying that while they strive for an authentic representation, the game is ultimately a work of historical fiction with creative liberties. Go f yourself. Is that clear? I, I hope it is. Those creative liberties clearly apply to caring about whether or not you can tell the difference between China and Japan, or whether or not you're ripping off a very popular anime series. That's racist. The company affirmed their efforts to collaborate with consultants and historians to ensure cultural sensitivity, but admitted that some promotional content may have caused concern. So that was a f***ing lie. The problem is, as I mentioned earlier, they fired all real cultural consultants and real historians in favor of a communist and a gender studies professor. Why? Why would you do that? The backlash coincides with a downturn in the company's stock performance, reflecting broader concerns about its financial standing amidst these controversies. As far as the backlash and controversy, the radical left in this country loves white knighting for anyone who isn't, well, white. Except when it comes to Asians for some reason. Yep. Now we turn to our least favorite member of the useless Kotaku team. Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Mercanti plays dumb and blames Mark Kern after she describes Japanese people as racist for calling out Assassin's Creed shadows. He must be the stupidest son of a liar. Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Mercanti sparked controversy by labeling Japanese individuals as racist for expressing anger towards Ubisoft's game, Assassin's Creed Shadows. This backlash has emerged in response to the Change.org petition, which I mentioned earlier. In the aftermath of Ubisoft's recent sort of apology, Sorry. 
Mercanti published an article suggesting that the outrage directed at Ubisoft is rooted in hate rather than genuine concern for culture, likening the situation to past Gamergate incidents. Ah, oh, s**t. Here we go again. Because when these disingenuous morons get backed into a corner for being lowlifes, they always liken it to Gamergate. Mercanti criticized responses to Ubisoft's comments as filled with radically charged language and linked the reactions to a broader right-wing political movement within gaming. What? What the fuck? There is no right-wing political movement in gaming. There are people who just don't want anything political or insanely divisive thrown into their favorite games. It's not that hard. Phrasing. Keep politics and weird sex stuff out of video games and away from children. Following backlash against her commentary, Mercanti shifted the blame to Mark Kern, one of her favorite targets, for allegedly inciting negative reactions towards her. Oh my god. Because again, this wench can't ever take responsibility for her own actions. Speaking of which, there's another media shill that's a little less white, voicing similar sentiments. The Verge reporter Ash Parrish accuses Japanese society of being violently racist amid backlash against Assassin's Creed Shadows. That's racist. Ash Parrish from The Verge has faced backlash after characterizing Japanese society as violently racist following Ubisoft's apology to Japanese gamers regarding criticism of their upcoming game, Assassin's Creed Shadows. We're sorry. Parrish, of course, dismissed concerns about historical accuracy, suggesting that criticism is rooted in racism rather than legitimate cultural context. Everything that guy just says is That's because she likes it. Therefore, if you don't like it, whether or not it has to do with racism, it's automatically racist. Racism against Japanese who are having their culture trampled on and their concerns ignored? Nah, it's against Ash and anyone who looks like her. Of course. Imagine if this game was set in Africa and they were putting historically inaccurate architecture, customs, and clothing all over the place. She would have had a crap fit. She accused Japanese society of harboring its own racist elements and asserted that criticism of Ubisoft's portrayals are often a shield for radical prejudice. Shut your mouth! Shut the up, you Good luck with calling an entire country racist, especially a country who doesn't give two dams about you or what you think. Fact. Her comments have been met with skepticism, with critics pointing out that Ubisoft itself admits the historical inaccuracies regarding Yasuke's portrayal, indicating that her attacks on Japanese society may reflect her own biases. That's racist! Damn. She's clearly hateful, racist, and bigoted. She needs to work on her own heart and soul. This game, however, has proven that it will have no heart, and Ubisoft, awkward apology or not, also has no soul. I am dead inside. Comment with your thoughts on this. Are you getting Assassin's Creed Shadows? Do you think the Japanese have a right to be upset? Are you supportive of their gripes? And do you think Ubisoft cares whatsoever, or are they just trying to save face with this nothing of an apology? Sorry. Let me know down in the comment section. As always, the links of the article I covered can be found in the video description. Also, please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. This has been Marks on Games, and we'll see you next time.